it's finally time for us to actually add drawings to our drawing program. To do this, we actually we need to work with the canvas. So inside of the Make Drawing tab, we have created a canvas previously. We don't draw directly to the canvas per se. We need to get something from the canvas. Um, equals the canvas dot graphics context 2D. So this is a an object that allows you to draw things and those things will appear on the canvas. Uh, we could actually demonstrate this by filling a rectangle for example. 50, 50, 100, 150. Oh, except our canvas apparently is not in the GUI at all. Let's check on that. So we have our top right border. Oh, actually, no, the problem. Canvas is there, but the canvas has no size. So I'm going to start off by making it, say, 2,000 by 2,000. Definitely big enough for what we want to do. Okay, there we go. There's that rectangle. So this shows how we can draw to the canvas using a fill rect. Uh, there are other methods that we can do. Of course, I don't want to draw to it here. I want to draw whatever our drawing is that should go into there. Uh, how are we going to make that happen? Well, we can only draw to a uh, graphics context. So. I need my drawing to know about the graphics context. What we can do here is possibly say, um, actually I don't want to pass this in, private var gc is the graphics context, and we'll start off, well, and there's a part of me that dislikes doing that, but for now we'll we'll set this to null. We might get some null pointer exceptions as a result of this. Uh, actually, we'll, we could always be safe and say that it is equal to an option of graphics context of null, which will wind up being a none of option of graphics context so if you'd prefer instead of doing that so that we don't have to reference null we could do this so that this is an option type on graphics context and when we draw we could do a for each on our graphics context and we just tell the root to draw itself actually we can probably just do root dot draw. Now, clearly our drawables don't have a draw method in them yet. We need to fix that. Okay, all of our, they're, the most important thing for a drawable to be able to do is to be able to draw itself. So draw, when we draw we're going to pass in a graphics context. And this doesn't return anything. Okay, copy, which is of course going to cause problems in that it causes us to have compile errors in all of the things that can draw. We'll label all of these with a to-do because we need to come back. Import Okay. So now this draw in the drawing actually works. So assuming that we have a graphics context, we can draw it. It might actually be nice before we draw the drawing to clear out the background 
So we could say GC dot, you can call fill. Oh, wait, actually, no, this will have to happen inside of here. Okay, so this is going to become more of a full. So G dot fill color dot white. So I'm going to set a, a white background on here. And G dot fill rect zero zero two thousand. Okay. So that's the draw for the drawing. What about the rectangle, the text, and the transform? We'll actually re come back and visit the transform again, but the one thing that I do know that needs to happen to start with is it has to run through all the children and draw them all of them. So children dot for each of underscore dot draw to the graphics context. I'm leaving the to-do in here because we actually haven't applied the transform and we need to talk about what that transform is before we can do so. What about draw a rectangle? Well, I feel like this should probably do something like gc.fill equals something and then gc.fill rect of an x, a y, a width, and a height. Okay. Obviously those values aren't defined yet and maybe I should actually just go ahead and say this would be a color. Uh, these are things that we should put on here. Um, okay. These are going to be mutable because I want to be able to change the properties of my rectangle. So this is going to be a private var. X is a double private var y is a double private var width is a double private var height is a double and private var color is a color and we need to import the color from Scala FX. Okay, and that's happy. Uh, what about for our text? Well, the text is going to also probably need a color. And it's probably going to need an X and a Y. So how about we go ahead and we add similar types of arguments here, but it doesn't have a width and a height. Okay, instead private var it's going to have a string for the text that gets displayed and we will do a gc.fill equals color there is a fill text which takes a text an x and a y which happen to be the same names as our variables and now draw text is also happy. So the draw transform will just go through and call on the children. It's not quite complete because it doesn't do any transforming. The text will draw out text. The rectangle will draw out a rectangle. And our main is unhappy because we built some of these things here and we haven't, uh, we aren't passing arguments to them right now. These two are actually now superfluous. We had to add them previously because we had no way of adding things to our drawing. Now that we have the ability to add things to our drawing, we don't have to do those. Okay, so our rectangle, we'll make our rectangle start off at 0, 0, uh, 100, 100 with a color of color dot black and our text I'm actually going to start it at 200 200 the text color dot black 
and that all appears to be happy. So we could go ahead and we could try running this. Now of course because we took out did I not put the canvas? It's, oh so okay so let's look at what that did. This is all types of unhappy. Um, I can't move this around and the sliders there but it's because this canvas is now huge. It's taking up a very large area. Uh, if I'm going to make my canvas 2000 by 2000, I probably need to embed it inside of a, of a scroll pane. So let's go ahead, val scroll canvas equals new scroll pane, scroll canvas dot content equals canvas and then here we're going to make this the scroll canvas. We run. There, that looks like what we had before except now we have some scroll bars on this. We can add a drawable to this. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll just add one rectangle and one text. Hmm. Nothing showing up. I don't see anything in my drawing. In fact, it's not also it's also not whited out. Why is that? Well, let's go back to our drawing. Our drawing only does this if it has a graphics context. Well, we have this here. It's a private bar, but we haven't set it. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to go first and refactor this. So this is. I'll leave it as as GC. Um, not private. Def GC underscore equals a graphics context, and this is going to set GC equal to G. Sorry, sum of G. So GC, what is this unhappy with? Oh, needs a result type. Colon unit. Okay. Now in here, after we, we build the canvas, we get its graphics context, we were passed in the drawing, but we need to set that so the drawing knows about underscore otherwise those things are going to interfere with each other of course that compiles if I want this to be happy with the assignment I'm going to have to add in an accessor method. And then I should be able to use that syntax. Okay, so there we go. Now what happens if we run? Well, did anything get drawn? Let's select our transform. Add a rectangle. Indeed. Now, it didn't start off being uh, with a white background because it didn't draw originally. We should probably fix that. And if I add text, it pops up down here. Okay. Uh, these are in here. Unfortunately, we can't edit them yet. If we want to be able to move these around and do anything interesting with them, we need to be able to edit them. And we also need to figure out what a transform is and how we do that inside of our canvas. But we have some basic drawing elements here. And our drawing program actually now has a little bit of drawing as part of its functionality.